you guys want to see how I got this bedroom looking like this when it used to look like this, just keep watching. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you decided to click on this video because I have a Michaels DIY for you. Hi guys, editing me here, I just wanted to mention real quick that it is actually not from Michaels. This sign is actually from Hobby Lobby. Back when I just did that Hobby Lobby haul and then the DIYs, I didn't get a chance to do that big sign. So we're gonna do that big sign today. As well as a complete farmhouse master bedroom makeover. So if that's something you're interested in, then let's not waste any time. Let's jump into today's video. Okay friends, let's start at the beginning of this amazing home. So we bought this in January of 2022 and this is what this bedroom looked like when we bought it. We did not touch it, do anything to it just yet. The carpet was disgusting. The walls were just an ugly brown color. It was very dark and dingy. Um, the curtains were dirty and it was just a mess so we ripped up the carpet we painted it everything white yeah i know i have kids i'm crazy but i just love the clean feel of white so once the new carpet was in and we put a fresh coat of paint on everything we installed the fan as well as shiplap for behind the bed so this is what it looks like once all that was done we put our bed in here and i also had to find nightstands to match Next is the fun part. So let's DIY and I'm going to show you guys how I made this amazing sign that goes above my bed. I started off with this sign that I got from, I actually said Michael's, but this is actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm just remembering that. So this is actually from Hobby Lobby. And I really felt that this was a good deal because I got it half off on clearance. Originally it was $39.99 and I got it for uh, 20 bucks. I don't know the exact change. But all I did was take some white Waverly chalk paint and I gave it a distress coat. Now it's much easier if you work with a new bottle of paint and a bigger brush just because over time i don't know what it is but waverly chalk paint thickens up and when you have a new bottle it's a little bit more thin so you get more coverage so i was dancing and having just a good old time this did take a little bit to cover but like i said i just make the best of it and it really did not take long at all Next, I go in with some random greenery and these cotton wreaths that I had. I have three of them, and just recently on my Instagram and my TikTok, I uploaded a video just showing how easy it is just to like make a wreath look much more full and high end. So I just added some greenery into it and then added it to the cabinets above my stove. So if you guys wanna see daily content and more personal content, go to TikTok and Instagram at all things crafty to all one word. So once I was satisfied with placing my greenery on my wreath, then I go in with this Buffalo check ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree back at the fall time or back in fall time however you want to say it um, last year Dollar Tree's really impressing me with their ribbons so I can't wait to see what they have in store for us this year um, but I was going to put a bow on there after I put the buffalo check hanger but I just did not like the way that it looked I liked the simplicity of it without it and my bedspread is buffalo check so I thought that this would tie that together really well. Next, all I did was take one piece of poplar that I had in my stash. I believe they're about $3 from Home Depot. And I just measured the middle and cut it twice because I had to double this up with some wood glue and some super glue. Once that was um, the glue was dried, I did clamp that together to make sure that it's a nice smooth fit. Um, once the glue is dry, then I lay it in the middle of my sign and I take 
quarter inch dowel rods that are linked in my Amazon favorites and my Amazon shop in the description box below. And we're essentially gonna make windows. So on either side of the poplar, um, I just took my pieces and I laid them out long ways, cut those down, and then while those were laying on my sign, then I cut the pieces for the top and the bottom windows on either side. I then took my Kona stain and I stained all of the pieces as well as the edge of this sign, and then it was the fun part of trying to see which piece went where. I am not perfect, you guys. My measurements are not perfect. My cuts are not perfect. But you know what? Nobody is going to get really up close to this and be like, oh, that line isn't perfect. So do the best you can. Step out of your comfort zone. I promise you, with just a little bit of patience, you always want to check twice, cut once. So just keep checking your wood. I don't measure, you guys. I just lay it and mark it. Is that the correct way to do it? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really too sure, but I just do what is most comfortable and easiest to me, and I encourage you guys to do the same. And then obviously to attach these pieces, I used my heavy duty Gorilla wood glue as well as some hot glue. And then last but not least, you guys, all we have to do is attach our wreaths. So I just take some um, hot glue. I lay my wreaths down first, and then I take the hot glue on the ribbon and glue that to the top and the back of the sign. And I also added sawtooth hangers on either side so that we could hang this up. And just like that, you guys, you have a high-end looking sign. Now, I know this looks intimidating to make but with just a little bit of patience and hard work you can do anything you set your mind to so i would love to thank birch living for sponsoring today's video as many of you guys know mark and i just renovated and moved into our new home and since moving into the new house we have had the same mattress forever and we knew that it was definitely time to get a new one. I honestly have been struggling to get a good night rest and I do believe that my old mattress is a big part of that. And sleep is one of those things that our body absolutely needs to function. That's why it's really important to invest in a good mattress. So if you guys don't know about Birch Living, Birch is a bed in a box company that is comfy, stylish, and also environmentally friendly. Their sleep products are 100% made right here in America, which I definitely can appreciate. I always look at tags and I do try to um, buy things that are sourced and made right here in our own country. And they're also made with organic materials with cooling and support in mind. That way throughout the night you get a really good night rest which is a big thing for Mark you guys because he sweats so bad at night and he has not sweated one time since we have set up our mattress. The organic materials that they use ensure that the mattress will keep you cool throughout the night and the organic material is also really comfortable. You guys, I could probably sleep on the mattress with no sheets. That's how soft the material is. Now we have had this mattress for quite some time now and I am so happy to report that you guys, the second I hit my pillow, I am out like a light and I sleep all night long. Now obviously I wasn't much help setting up, but it was super easy to set up. It literally unfolded in two seconds it only took about five minutes and the best part was that the mattress came straight to my door that way I didn't have to deal with any of those pesky mattress salespeople I don't know about you guys but every time I go in to look at a mattress I'm trying them out and then somebody just has to bother me and it's a whole thing so I really appreciate that birch mattresses come straight to your door the pillows that come with it are made from recycled plastic bottles and are also really breathable they're really comfortable pillows as well in fact I'm really funny about pillows and that is the one that I sleep with every single night I also love the fact that I can rest easy 
easy knowing that I'm not breathing in a bunch of harmful chemicals at night while we're sleeping. And I love the fact that my kids are not harmed while laying in the bed as well. The best part of Birch Mattress is that they give you a 100 night sleep trial. That way you can test it out, try it. If you don't like it, Birch will literally come pick it up and give you a full refund so you really don't have anything to lose. So if you guys are in the market for a mattress today, check the link down in the description box below, type in the word crafty and you guys will save $400 off your first mattress as well as get two eco-friendly pillows or you can go to birchliving.com slash crafty. Again, I would like to thank Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. The sponsors really help our channels to keep them going and I just appreciate every single sponsor on my channel. So check out Birch Living today. I know you guys will not be disappointed and with all that being said, let's jump back into today's video. Moving on to DIY number two. Now, you guys can do this with your eyes closed. I just took two signs from Dollar Tree. I got these back at Valentine's Day, um, and I love the size of them. So I take the hangers off, and then I start by gluing some large popsicle sticks on the front. That way, we can glue them together. I then flip it over and give it a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. Now, you're going to see here in a minute that this is a old transfer. Um, I have had this for a few years now, and I have been saving it for my master bedroom whenever I bought a house because it does go with a collection. And I didn't end up using the other pieces in the collection. I just loved the simplicity of this sheep. Unfortunately, it is not on my chalk site because it is a retired image. However, I just wanted to show you guys for inspiration. Um, I can try to leave a free printable down below. It won't be as big as this, but I will leave you guys a printable just so that way if you want to like make a smaller one, you can. Next, I take the black sheep wool part that goes with this collection and I transfer that on with my black chalk paste as well. And you guys, pulling back that transfer just literally never gets old. It's so easy and quick that I just love it. And the results come out amazing with very little effort. So anyway, um, once I was done with my transfer, then I go in with this gel stain that I got from Hobby Lobby and my mini chip brush. And I just dry brush all the way around the edges, focusing on the corners. And then I also give it some dry brushing all over the sign as well. And just like that, in about 10 or 20 minutes, you have a high-end looking sign that looks like you just bought it from the store. So I love the way this sign turned out. I think it matches all of my decor so perfectly, and this was the perfect spot for it. So let's jump into putting this room together now. So first, my sweet husband, you guys, he is literally an angel. Um, I'm not much help once again, uh, but I do do my best to help out as much as I possibly can. But he hung everything up for me, made sure it was all level and all in the right spot. And um, we started off with the big sign above my bed. Next, I had these mirrors. Uh, all of this stuff I had, you guys, there was nothing that I had to go out and buy. So I was really thankful for that. Um, but he hung up my mirrors for me on either side of the bed. And then there are also um, little shelves that go underneath that as well, which he does put those up for me here in a minute. But for my little cabinet that I made last year. Um, I feel like that project kind of put my channel on the map and a lot of people know me for that project and it's just one of those pieces that I will keep forever and my daughters love to play in it so I thought it would be cool to add some hangers on the back of it and I ended up hanging this up on my side of the bed and I really love it. I love looking at it every day because it's just a simple of 
it's a symbol of my hard work and my community and it just reminds me of how far I've come so here is my babe putting up my shelves you guys he's so patient with me <laughs> I honestly don't know how he deals with me some days but thank God for uh, handy men and patient men right so anyway here he is just putting up the shelves making sure they're nice and level sorry it's a little bit shaky um, he was banging and beaten, <laughs> so kind of be, kind of to be expected. And then this particular sign, if you guys have been around for any amount of time, then you know two years ago when I was pregnant with my Isabella, I did a bedroom makeover in our single wide trailer that we lived in. And Mark and I actually made that sign, and I wanted it above my bed, so that's where we put it. So it's just funny that I was pregnant with Bella doing a room makeover and now I'm pregnant with baby boy and now we're doing another room makeover. It, it was just like deja vu when I was standing on my bed decorating above my bed because I did the same thing when I was pregnant with Izzy. So anyway, it's funny how things work out and happen. But in the corner of my bedroom, I wanted these shelves. I have a lot of crystals. I'm super big into energy and just certain things like that. And my kids like love them. They think they're toys. So I like to, uh, or I should say, I wanted something that I could keep it up out of the reach where I could still pick them up and they can look at them, but they're not tempted to play with them because they're glass, they're fragile. And they mean a lot to me so um, anyway those are me and my girls butterflies so I do have some for them they're just not old enough to handle them um, on a regular basis if that makes sense so once they get older and more responsible then they will have their own but for now um, they're beautiful to look at and they're more than welcome to look at them but they're not allowed to touch so anyway I know um, yeah side of my head back of my head isn't that wonderful <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys I was decorating so I kind of kept the bottom uh, my crystals and then the rest of the shelves I did my farmhouse decor and then really you guys um, there's really not much left I almost forgot to put my lanterns up and then I was like okay I definitely need my lanterns something was missing I couldn't figure it out it was my lanterns I also added different lanterns and different greenery to the lanterns and I also made that farmhouse sign above the sign that we just made last year in a previous video that I can try to link for you guys if I remember. If I don't remember, just pull me up in the comments and I'll get it done. Um, but then literally, you guys, last but not least, was making the bed correctly, a vacuuming, and that is it. If you guys see my bedding, that is Betty's bedding. It's zip up bedding, you guys. It's literally amazing. And um, I will leave the link for you in the description box below. Um, but I want to tell you guys about my desk here I have to real tell quick. you guys all about this desk because my husband literally like made this for me pretty much so back when I first started my channel I it was actually my first sponsorship ever I got a sponsorship for this flexi spot desk which I absolutely love it goes up and down however it was just the desk so just the desk and just the legs so when we moved here I ordered a desk off Amazon and that desk had this little shelf on one side and then one side was like open and then it had this on it and it also had this on it well I wanted a desk that I could stand or sit at. So what my husband did was he took that off, cut off the front bars at the top so that it would hold my printers. And then he took off the keyboard, um, you know, thing. And he put that underneath. He screwed that down to the table. 
and yeah like he literally custom made this for me i absolutely love it and i just feel so lucky you guys so i wanted to share that desk with you guys i love it so so much and just like that you guys now i have the most cozy farmhouse master bedroom that anybody could ever ask for i get a lot of questions about my fan we got those at lowe's so just type in like farmhouse fan and it should pop right up if i can find the link i will link it down in the description box below for you guys um, any of like the amazon stuff that you see i will also link but a lot of this stuff i made myself you guys I've just been collecting over the years some of my favorite pieces and I just absolutely love the way that it turned out it feels so inviting and I feel so at home here I love the process of turning a house into a home especially doing it side by side with my husband I literally feel so incredibly blessed and grateful every single day of my life not only for all the things I have and you know my children and just getting a second chance at life if you guys did not see my story I will link that in the cards in the right hand corner just so maybe you can get to know me a little bit better but I'm grateful that you're here and I'm grateful that you guys are going on this journey with me. So with all that being said, you guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Also, as always, um, I just recently lost 60 pounds. Everybody was wondering about my weight loss and yes, I'm pregnant now, but I do drink for the other benefits. Um, so if you guys want any ketone information, check the description box below. Send me a friend request on my personal Facebook page. Send me a message that says ketones and I will get you that info we'll also leave that linked in the pinned comment plus all the other info you guys need in the pinned comment as well and with all that being said thank you guys so much for being here I have a huge goal of getting to 100k by the time my baby boy is born in October and I can't do that without your help so if you guys would share this out comment and subscribe I would greatly greatly appreciate it and with all that being said I want you guys to know you're so worthy you're kind you're gorgeous and you can do anything you set your mind to catch you in the next one bye check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the diy fam here to your right